My main interest in climate is that I study snow and the water that comes from snow. I'm interested in snow, I'm interested in glaciers, I'm interested in how they behaved over time. So the struggle we have in communicating science is how to present information based on data. Chronosome is indeed revolutionary in the way that they have figured out how to show information at different time scales. To look at periods all the way from the Big Bang to periods of a few years, and to do that with the same tool, to zoom in very rapidly from one time scale to another, to move through history at whatever speed you want to move. So we can explain the variability that occurred in Earth's climate over periods of tens to millions of years. In the last century, climate change is driven really by human activities. There's been rising concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and there's also been human aerosols. So we understand the processes that drive climate change at various time scales. And so in Chronosome, being able to sort of show the present in the context of the past is really useful again, to try to help people understand what goes on at timescales that they individually cannot observe. The fact that Chronosoup runs in the cloud makes it really easy to use. You don't need any sort of client-side application except a browser. The only thing that really shows up on your own computer are the results. Much of what I study is not very easily accessible. That is, you have to hike and ski to get to some of the places where I work. The thing I can do with Chronosoom is I can not only show data over many years, I can also show images and diagrams and graphs and time-lapse movies. In Chronosoom, you can create little stories that, uh, that you can drive yourself. You can explore a story I have to tell at any speed you want. You can skip over some details or you can dive into some of those details. I hope other people will use Chronosome to tell their interesting story by uploading their own information, both data and images and text. The most exciting part of my job as a professor is turning on lights in people's heads to suddenly see in people's faces that, yeah, I get it. This is an explanation of climate change now that I really understand. Uh, that is just exciting to me.